All right, now Samsung has started rolling out the stable version of One UI 6.0 based on Android 14 for the Galaxy Z Fold series. Now, if you have been on the One UI 6.0 beta, then you will see a different change log. And if you are currently running on One UI 5.1, you will see a huge update, more than probably 3 GB with all the new features mentioned in the change log. Whereas for the beta users, the size of the update will be just about 450 MB with November security patch. And the change log will be pretty short. It says this is One UI beta operation team we are very grateful to all of you for your positive and active participation in one UI beta program after completion of beta program we are not going to release any new beta software version we are no longer going to provide any official reply to your opinion beta feedback usage will be stopped so this is what you're going to see if you are on a beta one UI 6.0 which means you already have all the features installed on your phone and this will be the final stability improvement update for the stable One UI 6.0. Now let's go ahead and check out all the new features we have received with this update. First thing to note is the all new font that we have got. Now the default font has been changed and this font looks much more elegant than the previous font we had on One UI 5.1.1. The quick panel layout has been completely redesigned which provides easier access to some of the toggles which are important for us. We have got dedicated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggle right on top. Then we have got this panel with all the other toggles. We can swipe right to see more toggles. Then all the visual features like the dark mode, icon for shield and brightness bar have been moved to the bottom. Then we have smart view and a device control in a big buttons at the extreme bottom of this page. Now it definitely looks more streamlined and much more accessible than before. Now we can instantly access the full quick panel. Usually we swipe down once to see the quick panel and do a second swipe for the notifications to show up. But if you just want to swipe once to see the expanded quick panel, we can set that up now. Just go to the quick panel settings. We have this option here called quick settings instant access. Just enable this toggle. You will be able to swipe down from the top right to to expand the entire panel. Then we have got this improved album art display. While playing music or videos, album art will cover the entire media controller in the notification panel. On the notification panel, each notification will now appear as a separate card, which is a little more streamlined, I would say. You can also notice that the notification icons also look the same as the app icons, which makes it easier to recognize which app you're getting the notification from. Now coming to multitasking feature, we can keep the pop-up windows open now on One UI 6.0. Instead of minimizing pop-up windows when you go to the recent screen, pop-ups will remain open even after after you leave the recent screen. That is just perfect. The emojis on the phone have been redesigned. Now, wherever you see the emojis, whether it is in a social media application or messages, you will see refreshed emojis there. We have got a brand new weather widget now. This is called Weather Insights Widgets, which provides more information about your local weather conditions. Overall, the weather application also has been improved. Now, coming to the cameras, now we've got brand new camera widgets, which can be customized to directly open a particular video mode or photo mode right from your home screen. We can just set a widget to start in a specific shooting mode. The camera application UI has been redesigned. Now we get quick access to resolution settings. It's very easy to choose the resolution right from here on the top. We've got easier video size options now. We get more alignment options for watermarks as well. Now on the gallery application, we can see many more changes. We can now clip the subject from the image background and save it as stickers, or we can just press and hold on the image to clip the subject from the background and uh, use the other finger to go to any other application and drop that cropped image to send it or to save it. Then we've got a brand new photo editor. The editing layout has been changed and the tools are much more accessible now, as you can see. And we get a brand new video editing feature now called Studio, which is an advanced video editing feature now available on Samsung, which is just fantastic. We can now save the edited projects in this application and continue editing whenever we want. We can add multiple layers on the timeline, like we can add text, sound, videos, transition effects, etc. And they are much easier to edit now on this application. The next important change is the video player. Now the video player layout has been enhanced. The controls are now easily accessible. Buttons with similar functions have been grouped together. And now we also get enhanced playback speed controls between 0.25x and 2x speeds. Then the smart select feature has been improved. We can now resize and extract text from pinned content when you pin an image to the screen you can now resize it or extract text from it under modes and routines we get a new condition we can now start a routine when an application is playing media and we get a new action associated with samsung keyboard settings i will discuss this in detail in the upcoming video so stay tuned the next improvement is in a smart suggestions widget the smart suggestions widget has been redesigned and it can accommodate more icons now and we can customize this widget we can adjust the transparency we can also set applications to exclude from suggestions 
description. Now coming to my files, we have got an integrated trash with gallery. My files and gallery trash features have been combined into one. When you open the trash in my files, you will be able to see the files, pictures and videos you have deleted all together. In the files application also, we can copy a particular file from one folder and use the other finger to go back to another folder and drop it there to paste it. These are some amazing features we have received on One UI 6.0 for the Z Fold 5. These features are as same as the features which we got on the S23 series as well. I don't see any specific features released which are meant for the Z Fold series. Probably in the next version, the 6.1.1, we will see some new features which are meant for the Z Fold series. I'll keep you guys posted about it. Now, as far as the phone is concerned, it's doing good. The animations are smooth and I don't see any stutters when we open the applications. I'm going to use the phone for a couple of days and let you know guys if there are any major bugs in the phone. And I'll also test the battery life and I'll share the real life battery test results in the next couple of days. Stay tuned for those videos. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, yet go ahead hit the subscribe button and become a part of apex community and give this video a like if you find this video useful thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye